fine, 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 fine. It's alright. Had a dream last night that the world stopped turning, but your madness it kept on. Guess I wasn't too bright. Good morning, queens, and welcome back. It is Queen of Queen Shimmy, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a new wash and go. Um, this wash and go, I'm going to be using some new products from Camille Rose. <laughs> And you guys, I picked this up during the New Orleans Natural Hair Expo. They had all of their products on sale for 10 bucks a piece. So you guys know I had to rack up because I have never tried Camille Rose because you guys know they're a little bit on the pricier side. But you guys, I really wanted to try Camille Rose. So that's what we're gonna do this morning. It is currently, you guys know it is early morning. I always do my wash and goes early in the morning the following day after doing the overnight deep conditioning. And that's just what works best for me in my wash and goes. I feel when I do an overnight deep condition, they come out a lot better. So I picked up the Camille Rose Almond Jai Twisting Butter. Now I'm pretty sure everyone's familiar with this. We actually used this on Alexa's hair last night and you guys, her hair is gorgeous. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna work on my hair when I finally use it. But we won't be using the Almond Jai Twisting Butter today for my wash and go. We are actually gonna be using these two products in conjunction together. So this is the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Milk. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are familiar with that product. And then this one is the Curl Maker. And everyone raves and loves these two products together. So that's what I'm going to do today. I think I'm just going to use these two by themselves. I'm not going to use an oil. Um, because they both are in fuel. Like this one has marshmallow root and agave leaf extract. And this one has rice milk and macadamia oil. So I think my hair will be okay for a wash and go today. So... <clears throat> What we're going to do is, you guys know, I'm just going to start from the back. My hair, again, is freshly washed. I deconditioned overnight for about, hmm, I think I deconditioned for about seven hours, I believe. Yeah, yeah, about seven hours. So we're going to take this down so that we can go ahead and get the styling. Whew, man, oh man. So I'm just going to leave this on the front. You guys know I don't like for my hair to dry out when I'm trying to actually do my hair. And I say that, I say that, and because um, I just do not like my hair to get dry when I'm working, um, you know, on a wash and go. It just really um, affects the way my wash and goes turn out. So if I let my hair dry out, yeah, it's not going to turn out as good as it would have if my hair was still soaking wet. As you guys can see, my hair is still soaking wet. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the water off. So that way the product can be able to absorb into the hair better. So we're going to start out with the Curl Love Moisture Milk. Again, this is from Camille Rose. Initial thoughts. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like marshmallows, but it has a very soft scent and I like that. I really don't care for products that have a very, very strong fragrance. And yeah, I can tell this is going to be very thick. So let me go ahead and squeeze this out. Oh yes, that's going to be like butter into my hair. So this is what it looks like. Again, this is the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Milk. And I'm simply going to apply that on this section here. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it smells so good, you guys. I like it. It's not a real heavy leave-in. But I think a lot of these companies now try to keep products from being so heavy on the hair. But I like for... A lot of leave-in on my hair so yeah so that's better I'm gonna zoom you guys in so this is what my hair looks like with just the curl milk and I like it so I think I'm gonna put a little bit more on just to make sure that I have enough because again I like to make sure I have enough leave-in on my hair especially when I'm doing a wash and go because I'm pretty much not gonna be styling my hair for the rest of the week so yeah, so this is what my hair looks like with just the hair milk. Now we're going to be going in using the curl maker. And I think it's already, nope, it's not open yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and pump this out. Oh, it's very um, thick. It's a very thick consistency. So let's see how this pumps up on my hair, actually. 
So I really wanted to just use this product for the wash and go. So we're going to see. So far, just from raking the product in, my curls are really clump clumping up. I'm not noticing any flakes or anything like that from initial application, you guys. So I think this is going to work for the day. Yep, and so I think I may just apply some oil on top. So I'll just probably take some with me to work just to make sure that my hair doesn't um yeah, so this is what my hair looks like with just the curl milk and the curl maker. And you guys I like the results so far. So I'm just gonna continue applying this on the rest of my hair. So you guys are just gonna pretty much see me do that, but it's gonna probably be sped up. Alright, Queen. So this is what my hair looks like after just applying the leave-in and the curl maker. And you guys like I have never seen my curls so defined. Like, look at that. Look how defined they are. Like, y'all, if this dries right, if it doesn't flake on my hair, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be very excited about this wash and go. So, I mean, you guys can already see like all the definition that I'm currently having. So we're going to continue on and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once I'm completely done. Alright you guys, so this is the results from the back. Ooh, and I'm loving it. I mean y'all, look at how my hair, the definition, like oh my gosh. I am like a believer. <laughs> I am a Camille Rose believer now, baby. So we're just gonna keep it pushing you guys. So you guys know in the front my hair is typically going to react differently than what my hair would in the um my hair in the front is going to act different than what it would in the back because it is a different hair texture. So moving on, I just need to make sure that my hair remains fully like wet in the front so that way the definition can be popping <laughs> as much as possible. So we're just going to clip this away to make sure it stays wet or damp or whichever word you prefer to use terminology. I just want to make sure that my hair does not dry out. Y'all, I use so many clamps. 
So again, we are going to go in with some more of the Curl Love Moisture Milk from Camille Rose. And y'all, I mean, like, this is like the quickest wash and go I think I've ever done. Besides, um, besides the Dark and Lovely Curl Clump and Cream Gel. Like, seriously. Because my hair, y'all, does not really do well with gels. But this product... This is like the only gel from what I'm seeing right now with the still damp that is working for my natural hair. And you guys know I have tried a few gels out on my hair and to no luck have had any, you know, have been able to really have any, uh, you know, luck with gels and washing those. But the um, curl maker from Camille Rose oh my gosh you guys it's phenomenal so as you guys can see my hair in the front of course looks completely different than how it applied onto the back so I'm just trying to make sure I smooth this on to my hair I have to really make sure I work it in because um, the front of my hair is more of a type 4 texture meaning that my hair is kinkier which means applying product you have to make sure that you get it on every single hair strand so we're going to see how this Camille Rose Curl Maker actually works on my hair. So let's see you guys. We're fixing to rake it through. Rake it through. And smooth my roots down. I don't want to make them fluffy. So yeah, so far you guys, I really do like this duo from Camille Rose. You guys know... I really, again, haven't had any luck with hair gels, but this curl maker is making me a believer that I can get the same type of definition as all of my other curl friends out there. Because I know some of you guys have already been using Camille Rose or another brand. And I mean, y'all, my hair is really liking this product. It really is, both of them. I mean, look at that. Even the front of my hair, I've never seen it define like that it's usually still puffy and frizzy and all kind of crazy crap so I'm very very excited that this is actually working and I'm like almost done with my hair that is another thing too like I'm usually still having to apply product and product and product all onto my hair and I don't feel like I'm having to do a lot of work today I really do not feel like I had to do a lot of work to get this wash and go so we're going to go in with some more of the moisture milk I just want to make sure now that's one thing too like in the front I have to go in extra heavy with leave-ins <clears throat> to make sure that you know my hair is moisturized because if not yeah we'll have some problems <laughs> we'll have some real problems I'm going to clip that away for right now so yeah I'm just trying to really make sure I work this product in you guys so I want front to be banging <laughs> I want to be popping just as much as the back is so let me go ahead and separate this down and just smooth this um, and out the way and then we're just going to work on this one so yeah see I still need to apply a little bit more leave-in towards the root I just want to make sure I have enough leave-in on my hair because again this is what actually moisturizes your hair you know, not really more so the gel. The gel has some kind of moisture to it, but I would hope that it's just really going to be um, for styling purposes. So now we're going in with the curl maker. You know what I mean? It's literally a curl maker. It makes curls. <laughs> it makes your curls pop, like literally. So I'm just trying to make sure I get the roots again. Because again, you guys, this is my type 4 here. And so this is what it looks like with the curl maker applied on. I hope you guys can see that. I'm just going to make sure I smooth that in again. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to make sure that you know you have your curls, you get your definition that you're looking for. But you guys, I'm loving the curl maker and my hair is drying actually pretty quickly so I'm appreciative of that too because I hate when it takes my hair forever to dry but I don't like for my hair to get dried out either when trying to
All right, Queen. So my hair is like popping flavors. Like y'all don't understand because you guys know. Well, some of you already are aware that <laughs> for the most part, I have not been able to use any form of gel on my hair since being fully natural. Besides the aloe berry styling gel from Alloe Naturals, and then um, also it's another hair gel that I cannot think of right off the top of my head. But the Camille Rose curl love moisture milk i love 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 this leave-in actually um i had to apply it twice per um session i was working on before applying the curl maker but you guys like i really didn't have to use that much honestly it just seemed like that until now i'm looking at the bottle so this is an eight fluid ounce bottle and this contains rice milk and macadamia oil so I did not apply a O for the lock method today. I just pretty much did an LC method, a liquid, and then a G. Well, actually, I did an LG method, a liquid, and then a gel. So again, this is the Camille Rose Naturals Curl Love Moisture Milk. And I'm so happy that I picked this up at the New Orleans Natural Hair Expo because, again, they, they had all their products on sale for $10. And so I'm so happy that I got this because my hair is soft. It's very hydrated, but I mean, my hair is like very very soft if you guys cannot tell my hair is very 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 defined so after applying the curl milk um i went in using the camille rose naturals curl maker and oh my gosh you guys i literally two to three pumps per session was all that i needed for my natural hair and oh my gosh this contains marshmallow and agave and agave leaf extract and you guys like it's a curling jelly and it will eliminate frizz moisturize and define curls and it did just that so let me zoom you guys in so you can actually see the full-on definition that i got today okay so this is my hair full y'all i mean my hair is like almost dry literally and it only took me 30 minutes today to actually achieve this wash and go so that's another thing that i like about the curl maker and the moisture mill is that the drying time is incredible like my hair I would say is about mm, about 50% dry right about now and again it only took me 30 minutes to actually do my hair and I'm loving that the fact that I can actually wear my hair with the part down the center and I don't know that's just kind of been like my style lately um I just really just been liking my hair to just fall that way and my hair actually has been enjoying that shape the way that I've been letting it fall so as you guys can see like look at that definition like y'all I'm just so surprised that I actually got a gel now that I can use on my hair so you guys are definitely going to be seeing me use this more like this is not going anywhere like anytime soon like I really do like this duo together and so I'm so happy that I was able to get my hands finally on Camille Rose because they are a little bit pricey but to get it for ten dollars a product like you couldn't pass that up so I'm very 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 happy that I was able to get my hands on this um so I'm probably going to just probably at the end of this video um, insert some photos of my hair actually dry because I'm actually fixing to get ready to head out the door. Hence why I'm fully dressed now. But you guys, I really, 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 really do like the Camille Rose Moisture Milk. Curl Love Moisture Milk. And then I also love the Curl Maker Light. These two together, <laughs> this is a new combo, so I'm so excited that I have a new duo for a wash and go because I really wanted to do more wash and goes, but I wanted to start incorporating gels because I see that for most naturals that it helps to, prefer, to preserve the curls longer and especially to preserve your wash and go a little bit longer as well versus using a curl defining cream. So thank you so much Camilla Rose for actually showing up and attending the New Orleans Natural Hair Expo because I'm so excited that I got two new goodies, you guys. So, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys love my results because I'm loving them. And I'll see you guys in my next upload, queens. Y'all be blessed.